Hey, Inside Gymnastics fans, I'm Raina Gugino, and I'm a senior at the University of Michigan. Come take a tour with me of our facility. So when you first walk in, you can see that we have all of our trophies here. It's honestly a really good reminder of how much success we've had and how much more success is in the future to come. This is our tournament championship trophy, and then this is our regular season trophy. I can't forget this beauty. This is always at the top, in the middle, front and center, of course, because this was just unmatched. This is also um, Donald R. Shepard. Um, he is the one who donated the money for us to build this beautiful facility. So we are so grateful for him and everything that he's done for us. So in here, this is our team lounge. So we have some massage chairs. This is Sophia. She models all of our clothes sometimes whenever we need to, you know, see something um, on someone. Um, and then these tables are just for like if you have to come and study and like you just are done with classes early and have need somewhere to study. Whenever we have like team meetings or somebody's coming to talk to us, we'll come in here and if they have like a PowerPoint or something, they can connect to the TV and so we can watch it like that. This is when we had a sellout crowd against Auburn um, in West Virginia for senior night. We were so excited to do this. So awesome that we have a photo to represent our success and just how much people love us and it's just great, yeah. And then this part actually super cool too. So this is our alumni and then like what they're doing now. So like it just says like what their job is and like when they graduated, what their name is for, I mean, a lot of freshmen and sophomores, like figuring out what you want to do. It's a great place to look and be like, oh, okay, this person is a surgeon and I maybe want to do that. And you're able to talk to them and that will always give us phone numbers or anything that we need to be able to talk to anybody. Our alumni are the best. They always come in and for like alumni weekend and always make sure to tell us that they are here whenever we need them. And I mean, they paved the way for us here. So, I mean, we're only here because of them. So lots to be grateful for. So this is a picture of Donald R. Shepard. We already chatted about him. He's the best. Um, and then this is actually super cool. So this is, these are pictures of all the teams that have been at Michigan. What's really cool is to see the old leotards. So like, I would say the last one that we have worn is this one. That's the latest one I've worn, this 2016 one. But like, it would be so cool to, like this velvet one, I mean, I would love to wear that like this one. But yeah, it's super cool to see how like the Leos and everything like have evolved and just like how big some teams were to then how small other teams were. Right before you get into the gym, this is Bev's office. This is our beautiful gym. Oh, I love, first of all, the banners on the wall. I'd love to see where it started and now to like where it's at. I mean, we want another one of those yellow banners, let me tell you that. <laughs> kind of like similar to what was out there a little bit, but on a bigger, broader scale. So like, if you get like All-American for the regular season, or if you're All-American first team, second team, if you're a national champion. So like each year, whoever gets an All-American, if you're first team or second team, it'll say your name and then the event under it with the year. Um, and then <laughs> he continued down. Uh, Big Ten champion individual, um, same thing, like starting all the way back from 1982 to well, soon to be 2023 will be added onto there. This is our welcome area. So we, I mean, we can kind of see that we have one that's like in the pit. Obviously we can add mats onto that. Um, this middle one is more of like the competition surface. Um, but depending on like what mats are under it, it can be like harder or softer. So um, it just depends on the day and time of year, most of the time. Um, 
like in the summer and in beginning of the fall, will probably stay more over on the far vault, just in putting mats on the top so it's just a little bit softer. And then once we get towards competition season more, we'll start moving in the middle and then making that mat a little bit harder. So we actually just got new beam mats. Um, so that's why they look so clean. Um, so we just got a whole new beam mat like area um, and we switched these low beams used to be actually back there towards that wall, but now they're more over here. And so I think honestly it works better because um, they're so far back there and it's people were working fun still, you couldn't really see. Um, so now we can. We actually got three new high beams over there. We got them all like recovered. Um, and then we got those three new beams over there. So that has been awesome. Especially like when we have those days when everybody decides to go to one of the same event. It's nice because then we can all spread out. And most of the time we can have like our own beam. The tumble track for floor into the pit, the rod floor into the pit. And then this is just another tumble strip, like normal floor. This is like a normal floor into the pit. Um, and then our floor is great. We just got this whole new floor. So we are very lucky. We have three sets of bars. So most of the time we use this set and this set um, for like routine purposes. Um, the only difference between these two bars is the landing. So this landing is a bit more squishier and softer than this, than this landing. This is more of a competition surface landing right here. During the season and everything, like most people are on this bar, I would say. When I was working gingers, I would come over here and um, Scott would spot me over here on a finger. But I mean, otherwise this bar doesn't really get used that, that much depending on mostly like drills or anything that like, if you're working a particular skill and like Sherman can spot you on it and make sure like you catch the bar or whatever you're doing, that's when you kind of come over here because it's easier for him to like stand and be able to do this rather than like having to do this with you. So um, yeah. Now we're gonna go into the apparel room and see where all of our videos are. So this is the best room in here. And this is where all of our lead cards are. Okay. I love, where's my, where's my actual lead? So this is the Superwoman one. This is the one that we wore at Big Fives my sophomore year in Toledo. And I got a 9975 in this leotard, so I like it. <laughs> all of our new leotards that we got this past year, um, I mean, are all stunning. Like we. We're so lucky. We get like new leotards all the time and it's like, it's so nice and we are so lucky. Um, and Bev and Miley do such a good job of designing them. Um, whenever they design a leotard and then one comes into the gym, we'll, one will be like, who's trying it on? Who's trying it on? So then someone will try it on and they're always open to like what we think and like, how does it feel? And is it comfortable? Is it not comfortable? With the old Leos, like, with like lead Leos, we give them to the club team. Um, but like the Velvet Leotard, we have them in a shadow box. Everyone has one in the shadow box, so that's really great. And then when you graduate, you also get your favorite Leotard in a shadow box too. So whenever Bev makes an order for apparel, she makes it for the people that are going to be there that year, plus the next year's incoming freshmen so that we can wear apparel from two years instead of just one year. So this is our like own little training room. So, okay. So when we come for practice and stuff, we don't go over to the SBC into that other athletic training room. Um, we'll just come into here. Cause this just has everything that we need. Um, for pre-practice stuff. So this is where Lisa will tape us if you need your ankle taped or anything taped. 
So we have like this little area. Um, this is like where we just grab a snack and go. Like I had class earlier, so I grabbed a snack and went. This is our own little hot and cold tub. So pre-practice will make it hot, post-practice will make it cold. This is a swim X. So normally it fills all the way up with water. Um, and like if you have, like for example, when I got a cortisone shot on my back, I couldn't do a bunch of stuff. So I would get in the swim X and I would do like a little bit of cardio and conditioning in there. So like you can swim, it'll like push you back so you have to like resist it. So then in here is where our locker room is. So just through this door. Um, and walk into here. So this is our beautiful locker room. Um, everybody gets their own locker. Um, the cool thing about our lockers actually is these under here. I don't think mine's the best, but I had them lay up close in here. Oh yeah, this is my locker by the way. Um, one thing that's super cool is people that were before us are, go on the wall. So shout out Maggie O'Hara had your locker. Um, so yeah, so you get to see like what alumni had your locker, which is super, super cool. Um, and then another thing that's super cool is we have these benches. I have a bunch of clothes in here, so sorry. But um, yeah, so you can put your clothes and your grips and everything in there. And then I have Leo's shorts, sports bras, tanks, stuff for the shower. Um, I also have my little wall of things. These are all of Miley's um, animals that she has. This is one of the things that we saw on the wall that Nico wrote for me. Um, this was Gabby, Nat, Heisk, and I when we got our tens on vault and at the Rutgers meet. This is my little uh, sports psych kind of thing I got going on. Um, just a reminder that I have a bunch to bring to the table. Of course, Abby High School's in my locker and Nico is in my locker. Um, and then my why, this is my why. My family, my sister, my dad, my brother, and my mom. So this is when I came on my official visit here actually. So yeah, so I always keep a picture of them in my locker just to remind me my why and why I'm here. Oh, this, this is really amazing. So this is um, Chip Hills, the reason why we have our purple meat. Um, he wrote a letter to team 39, which was the team that his daughter was on her freshman year. So it's just like, whenever we get close to the Chip Hills meet, we always like tell the freshmen or people that haven't read it before to please like read it. Um, it's just such a like powerful message. And we always, he always used to say like, think of three good things like in the day. And like, sometimes the only good thing is the sun came up today, like, and that's okay. Um, but always just to find three good things and just to be positive. So that is something like that we really cherish and like make sure that we keep in mind throughout the season and stuff, just cause things can get hard and maybe not go your way. But if you find three good things, then everything's great. So this is just like our little like bathroom area. So we have like the sinks with the, you know, vanity lighting, of course. <laughs> yeah, okay. So all the vanity lighting, the sinks, and then we have our own little stalls and then same thing kind of on this side with the vanity lighting. We have the same vanity lighting. Um, laundry will go in there. And then we have our own like individual showers. I know a lot of other sports, maybe other teams might not have like individual showers, but we do. And it's like a game changer. It's so awesome. Um, especially if you're going straight to class or you have to go somewhere and you're like, oh, I need to shower really fast. Um, this is a great place to do it. A lot of people just break their stuff. Like you saw in my locker, I had all my body wash and shampoo and conditioner and stuff. So I'll just bring it in here and then put it back in my locker. But yeah, we love the shower situation here. It's awesome. For like our home inner squads, we'll get like ready in here most of the time. But when we have a meet at Chrysler, we have like a little area. Kind of, it honestly looks very similar to this. I would say more similar to that, but um, that we get ready in there and all that, so. Okay, so now we're gonna head to the South Performance Center, which is literally right next door to our facility. So let's go.
Okay, so we come in here anytime um, we lift throughout the week. So during the fall, we'll come in about two times a week in here and then once in the gym. Um, and then during the summer, it's three times a week in here. We don't lift in the gym at all. Um, but in the summer, depending on schedules, we'll sometimes come all together, sometimes be individual. And then during the fall, we all try to come together at the same time. So, I mean, preseason is a grind, so why not do it together? <laughs> it's a 20 yard hill, and normally we just do hill sprints up it. This is like equivalent to like boxes. So we do like box jumps like all the way up to the top. And then the stairs will just do like stair runs and stuff like that. This is a new system that we got, and it's called Sparta Science. And basically, it's a program where you can like track like your drive and your like when you jump like how basically like how good is your jump and like how much power does your jump like initiate or like even like in like the load and then like that part the drive and everything so we just started using this like in the kind of like the end of season beginning of spring to like now so once a week we'll jump and see just if our drive and everything has gotten better. Complete. That explodes looking really good. We got, a, we got some room. That some load room and drive, drive needs <laughs> yeah, yeah. we'll to we'll come back on. maybe later. Yeah, later <laughs> we're gonna work on that load and that drive. So here we'll do a lot of like the sled pushes with the sleds. Um, we'll do like rope slams and all different types of like ropes. We normally do that with like a Tabata, so like 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off kind of thing. Um, and then a lot of times we utilize like the hill and all like the stairs and stuff during the circuit. So like when you, sometimes when you're in here, you're like, you'll see us run up and come back down and then come back down and like it's insane, but we do it and it's fun and we do it all together. So that's good. Okay, now we're gonna go to the main fueling station. Um, so we get snacks and stuff there all the time. So let's go. Okay, so this is the main fueling station. After lifts and stuff, we'll sometimes get smoothies. Um, so that's really great. It's a good day when we get smoothies. <laughs> Post lift. I love these sandwiches, they're actually so good. And then I always get a protein shake too. Um, but after practice, if I'm in a pinch and I need to you know, get to class or something, whatever's there, I'll grab. Most of the time we're gonna be in the gym when like we finish practice and then um, have to go to classes. So we have like a smaller feeling station there. Um, so we'll grab stuff mostly from there. If we come here in the morning, we happen to just grab something extra for later, then, um, we do that, but just kind of wherever you are, grab a snack and go kind of thing. <laughs> Sometimes there's not enough time to make your way over here to grab something else, so. So this is the like main athletic training facility. So most of the days, like when we have off, we will come here, cause Lisa also works out of here too. So we'll come here and I mean, there's just like more of everything in here. It's not our small training room that we have in the gym, so um, yeah, we'll come in here and check it out. So in here is like our hot and cold tubs. So I, they kind of change every time. But we have like TVs and stuff that normally like play like the sports channels and whatnot. Um, and so we'll have like hot and cold tubs. A lot of people will do like the contrast stuff or just hot tub or just ice tub. So, um, on what you want to do. Then we have these like uh, underwater treadmills. So people that are recovering from leg injuries will they'll fill it up with water. So it's, you're not all, your weight's not on your injured leg. That's really it. It's a great space. It has a lot of room and we, a lot of us come in here during the fall and the winter just to like Norma Tech. We have a bunch of Norma Tech stuff. Um, and you know, work with Lisa and our student trainer. So yeah, so it's great. We love it in here. That's about it. So those are normally like the three most common places that we'll go and 
do things at and here. Um, this place that also is like a lot of track and field stuff, uh, cross country, like we're out in that. There's a back track back there. Um, and then like right across that way is where the lacrosse stadium is. So lacrosse is there and then soccer back there. So it, this is like a very big area about um, sports and that kind of stuff. Um, I mean, if you've ever been to the Michigan campus, you know that there's also like the baseball and football and all that kind of area too. So this is our little area that we have here. So it's great. But basically it's like messages of hope. So yeah. you can like take one of these little things. We can write, there's no Sharpie, but we, you can write on it and then just kind of leave it. And like when you walk past and you see you are worth it. It's nice to see that, especially if you're maybe having a bad day or um, something isn't going the way that you'd hope. Seeing this and like looking to see like other student athletes here are like with you and like are encouraging you. So yeah, this is a great little wall. We have one here and then we have one at the academic center. Um, so positivity everywhere you walk around here. That does it for the tour. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Go Blue.